So years ago, I'd go to New York, having one epiphany after another, looking at art like this. Then I'd get on the subway, and I'd wonder, what does art have to do with everyday life? Not much, I thought, at least not the art that mattered. Because back then, I believed certain art was more important than other art. And I believed that kind of art was just separate from everyday life. Today, I feel differently. And I value a lot more than I once did. So tonight, I share some examples of the ways of art I've come to value. Example one, Paul Daniel, the careerist. A model of working away year after year in the studio, a difficult living, but through it and his public sculptures, he gives something every day. Example two, Denise Tassin, the monk. Hers is a private insular practice, old school art making in a way, but so rich and deep and unexpected and individually idiosyncratic, she's a model for anyone who values integrity. Example three, Joyce Scott, the icon. Hers is a public way, a gifted, generous, mind-blowing creative spirit offering each of us the vicarious pleasure of belonging to the same Baltimore as this woman. Example four, Ken Royster, the icon maker. He wields his aesthetic camera to put the dignity of others in front of us, for us to know and honor. His is a way that humanizes. Example five, Ernest Shaw, the outlier. He's largely unknown and unsung, but that doesn't keep him from being a great mentor for Baltimore's youth. A gifted artist himself, he selflessly gives. Example six, Julie Lynn, the natural. She makes images, but also brings her exquisite bedside manner in working with others to encourage their doing the same. Hers is an art of making and motivating a natural hybrid package. Example seven, Lauren Cornish, the maniac. More a force of nature than a natural, he's transformed a block in Baltimore, not with one, but two row houses, magically plastered in ceramic tile. What a neighbor. Example eight, David Friedheim, the playful. He has the wisdom to allow art school self-importance to give way to the delights of using his gifts for pleasure and play. Example nine, Stuart Watson, the entrepreneur. Not only a maker of objects, but a sculptor of community space. Area 405 Gallery, a product of this Baltimore gem and a treasure for all of us. Example 10, Rebecca Yenowin, the activist. Kids on the Hill and New Lens and all her work empowering young people to change Baltimore for the better is her art form. Example 11, Marshall Clark, the model. He's a brilliant photographer in his own right, but he pursues a parallel career with youth light, a model for stepping out of his own aesthetic bubble and into the lives of kids. Example 12, Beth Barbush, at your service. This man's church was torn down in a so-called East Side redevelopment project, and Beth, using her art to help him have voice and visibility. Example 13, Sarah Tooley, the community asset. Waverly is better off with 901 Arts and the passion of this artist engaging young people in positive ways, opening doors of wonder in their own backyards. Example 14, Molly Ross, the alchemist. Taking a bunch of people, some paper lantern workshops, an underused park, and conjuring a golden evening 10 years running, the Halloween Lantern Parade. Example 15, Rebecca Nagel, the innovator. From conceptual slash performance slash recorded conversations with the homeless art to a Sandtown Winchester block party. High concept art with a humanizing purpose. Finally, example 16, Maja Cox. The young, she's the young. The confidence to portray herself as a superhero one moment and mentor a fellow youth in his own art making the next. The art world needs more Maja Coxes. So a belief that art of all kinds is worthy of respect and can make a difference has been the bedrock of Art on Purpose since I founded the organization six years ago. The many artists I've just shared with you are some of my role models. And as I move beyond Art on Purpose with my own evolving art practice, I hope to remain open, 
to stay away from ranking and rating and to find my way to contribute in my own way as an artist to a better Baltimore, as I hope all of you artists out there do as well. Thank you.